Good morning. So we ended up in that Great Falls um, Flying J. Got here at, oh gosh, 9.10 last night. I was tired. I'm tired now. <clears throat> what a fiasco from the um, Walmart in Helena. And the fact there's no place on a Saturday night to find a camping spot that you could pay for in this area. So, turns out the Walmart in Great Falls, I like, could have stayed it. Zoe doesn't want to leave. <laughs> She's trying to get in the cupboard. Come here, Zoe. Zoe, come here. Come here. Zoe, come on. Zoe, don't do this to me. Come on. We have to go bye-bye. Don't you want to go home? Do you want some food? We have to go bye-bye. Come on. Oh, come on. Well, I'm going to start packing up and... I'll show you the outside when I'm done. So, this is where we stayed last night, just outside at Great Falls. But here's the um, truck stop. So I parked in the RV spots. I went to the back, but there was um, a lot of trucks back there already, so this was good. They have tons of spots here. So here's my sandwich from the um, Flying J. I mean, look at that. It's rye. It looks really, really good. But, um, oh, I think Zoe's still tired. She hasn't got up to eat or nothing yet. Oh, the sun glare's bad there. So, I'll show you my sandwich while I talk. So, basically, um, I am on the road that does not go through the park. Um, just go south of it. So, you do have to go to St. Mary. And,. From there, you um, you need to ticket until possibly 5 p.m. So I'll have to come back. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you this awesome park, but at least I can make it to Kalispell. So I will. I'll get some pictures outside before we go. Oh, poor Zoe just threw up her first time on the trip. But the good news is it was a giant furball. Um, it wasn't food. So, she has an empty tummy now. Got the door open for her. She's, um, that's why she didn't look so good when we first stopped her. She was feeling sick. So I stopped here in this parking lot, gravel parking area. Just realized across the road there's a, um, some type of rest area. There was no sign for it. Um, but anyway, we are on uh, Highway 2, which does not go through the park. Um, you had to go to St. Mary's from Browning, and I thought that sounded familiar. We're basically seeing the extreme southern edge of the um, park. But, um, yeah, so you, because you need tickets, who knows when I would get through today. Uh, it'd be in the evening, so I'm kind of glad uh, I went this way. But we're between East Glacier and West Glacier right now. Um, West Glacier's in 43 miles, Kalispell 77. And we're not actually going to go through Kalispell at this point. We're going to go through Whitefish and to Eureka. I want to check out this lake. Um, but yeah, it, um, I'm glad I figured out my confusion, got that sorted out. Look at that old car. Wow. That is neat. It's like a chitty chitty bang bang car. <laughs> that is neat. But um, yeah, we'll have to see how long the ticket system lasts. And if it's all summer, like after Labor Day, we'll try and come back after Labor Day. Maybe with the truck. Because I want to come to this area. But Zoe found out why she was not feeling good this morning. She had a fur ball. She threw up for the first time, and it was it was just a fur ball. But uh, I think she was sick. She had a tummy ache. But uh, hopefully she's better now. But better get out of the road and get moving. And sadly, we will have to come back. So we are at the Cabela's Outpost in Kalispell. And this town is no longer RV friendly. Do not come here. They don't want your money. Don't shop here. 
um, we're going to Whitefish, but it's too bad. It looks nice, but um, it's another town I will avoid in the future and will not come back. But um, yeah, it's been liberalized. They don't want RVs here anymore. But the homeless people can do whatever they want, probably. So just don't come here. Stay away. But we're gonna, we'll see you in Whitefish down the road um, where they still like RVs. And 10 miles, we will be there. Oh, this is our spot for the night. It's very wooded. I guess these are red furs. And they have wild roses. My wife wants to take some. <laughs> I think they're wild. I'm pretty sure they're wild. Definitely grow well here. Ah, that's an elm tree. Or no, that's not right. That's not an elm tree. <laughs> I think these are just the names of the roads. Wow, these sites are nice. <laughs> but this is the KOA and Whitefish. A nice site, it's like 19. I'll have to get that next time. Ah, oh, it is hilly. Uh, I wonder if my cell phone would work better up here. That's all right. I got to figure it out. Oh, these are really nice. These are the tent areas. Look at that. Super nice. Ah, here's a trash. Need to bring my trash up. So I think this is a laundry facility plus bathroom on the bottom. I'm not really sure. the Pine Road. Yeah, this is a really nice campground though. For sure. Uh, oh, wow. Kitchen here. Huh. Pretty neat. Some of their cabins look really nice. Oh my gosh, so this is their glamping. I wonder what's all inside that. I wonder where this trail goes. Uh, I think there's more tents up here. I want to find out how much those cost. Wow, this is a really nice KOA. It's like a whole trail system back here. I have no idea where it goes. But that's someone's campsite, so we'll go back down. All right, oh, there's another glamping tent up there. That's a long walk. I think you walk up there for that trail. It's pretty neat though. And they got all these cabins you could rent. Really neat. It's a neat little airstream. That's what I need for my truck. Not sure where this road goes. We'll find out. Wow, 
Oh, that's a nice RV. I like the paint job. It has three air conditioners. Oh, so there's a road going up to the glamping tent. Wow. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a national forest and we're just a mile, a couple of miles from Whitefish. It's another cabin you can rent. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a um, little tiny house back there you can rent. Unless someone lives there, that would be cool. That's what I want. I'd love to live in a place like that, in a park like this, and have our RV there. Be pretty cool. That's my dream. But um, sounds like we're close to the front. Uh, you know, check out Buffalo Bob's. This is uh, this is a tent site. It's pretty neat. They actually have a putt-putt course. Like nine holes it looks like. Pretty neat. I think they have some balls over here. Yep. So they have a like arcade in here with pool table, pool's ball. Some of the games aren't working, but they're only a quarter, so pretty neat. And the pool is huge. And they sell pizza over here. 